It's been about a week since I've uploaded a video. I don't really like going that long without making something, honestly. I just wish I weren't so dry on video ideas. There's nothing I can really talk about. Should I talk about my hot coworker? No, no, that'll get me fired. And I can't really talk about that virus that's been going around. That's demonetization central right there. I'll just go on Twitter then. How about that? Ah, uh, yes, I've received a message from my dear friend Dying Food. I wonder what he has to say with his well-spoken, incredibly successful statement, so what the actual f*** is this? Hey guys, what is going on? Flowmotion back at it again with some quality content. Got some pretty scary things honestly going on in the world, so I'm completely out of school for the time being, and I got a job, so... <laughs> That's fun. So while I'm quarantined right now, I might as well see what others are up to in order to pass the time. So in this video, I'm pretty much going to cover all of the crazy things that I've seen go down regarding this whole corona stuff. And what a better way to start things off than some good old-fashioned YouTube corruption. Apparently, people are pissed off at YouTube because they got so spooked by the virus that they had to let some people go. And while the offices are empty, the bots are pretty much running the site in a statement that YouTube made. That's comforting, because as us creators know, YouTube has an absolutely spotless record with bots. We're going to be in great hands. In case you're a YouTube loyalist or some dim-witted dumbass who can't break down sarcasm even if your life depended on it, let me word it another way. We're doomed! With fewer people to review content, our automated systems will be stepping in to keep YouTube safe. More videos will be removed than normal during this time, including including content that does not violate our community guidelines. We know this will be hard for all of you. So here's what I got out of that statement. What I'm doing is wrong. I know it's wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Thanks, YouTube. Boy, do I love you. <coughs> While well, YouTube slaves away making ridiculous decisions as per the usual, Discord restores my faith in humanity by increasing screen share capacity to up to 50 people. Now I can stream femdom hentai to five times the people. Thanks, Discord. What else is happening in the stupid news that I can cover? Oh yeah, I know. Look at this corona queen right here getting TikTok famous for licking a f***ing toilet seat. I hate the internet sometimes. The way we reward people for doing stupid things by putting them on a pedestal and talking about them, it gives them the attention that they're seeking out. But I had to talk about this. Will this chick get sick? Yes, but she'll probably get something more along the lines of strep to oral gonorrhea rather than what the challenge is named for. I wonder what her significant other feels about this video's existence, knowing that her tongue came in contact with who knows how many people's bare asses. And I don't even know how much of a freak this girl is, but if she's willing to lick a f***ing toilet seat for clout, I'm assuming chances are that there's a few more places that she'd lick upon request. I'm pretty sure of it. Plague Inc. got banned in China too. I actually made a video about that, but decided to scrap it as it was getting pretty dragged out. But I think we can all affirm that China puts the C in censorship, and pretty bullshit censorship at that. Next up on finessing the YouTube algorithm, we have meme channels and their new title schemes. Way to cap Capitalize on widespread panic by getting those keywords in your meme compilation composed solely of memes that you stole from all over the internet. Hope you feel great about all those views that you've collected for yourself. Also in terms of this pandemic, it looks like this hasn't slowed down simps across the world as they continue to put money in the pockets of <clears throat> content creators that have a featureful talent and natural charisma. I emphasize this more towards Twitch and OnlyFans. Do I really need to explain myself here? Crooked News Network over here also did a survey and found that 38% of Americans won't buy Corona beer under any circumstances, despite the beer and the virus having zero correlation or connection to one another. So great job, society. You drove a Mexican beer down the drain and into the ground, and they did pretty much nothing wrong other than have the same name as a pandemic that they couldn't control. And with Corona reporting loss of $170 million in sales because of this, you can rest easy at night knowing that you brought a company to its knees because of poor correlation and misunderstanding. Great job, society. Oh yeah, woo! It would also be absolutely lovely if people stopped 
panic buying toilet paper and other stuff. Being compressed in these lines just allows this airborne disease to spread easier. But a problem most people have is their refusal to see past their own gluttonous needs and address themselves first, rather than taking a glance at the big picture. But what can you do at this point? And right as I thought my degeneracy couldn't reach any higher, Coronavirus Chan is here, and oh my, oh my, is she looking good. I might have to make a video solely about her. We'll see. These things have been on my mind for the longest time, and I've been dying to put them into video form. And, you know, with this quarantine pretty much inevitable, might as well get it out now, huh? It's best to get it out when it's hot and spicy, just like my waifu, Maika Sakura no Mia. God, I'd let her do everything to me while looking at me like that. That's besides the point, though. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a video, join my Discord server for the fun times, and check out the Corona-themed photo shoot that I did on my Instagram, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'ma head out.